Good evening. One of the gang members involved in the deadly beating of a security guard at a car dealership is in trouble again. His name is Gary De Benedetti, and he got out of prison only a few months ago, and now it looks like he is back to terrorizing people. News 13's Jeff Todd is live in Northwest Albuquerque. Jeff. Yeah, Dick and Jessica, police say that it was last night when a man was getting dropped off at this bar. As he got out of the car, he got punched in the face, dazed and confused. That's when he then got tased in the neck. I think the motive was robbery. Police say it was late last night when two brothers, Gary and Colton de Benedetti, attacked a man outside of Ned's bar on Rio Grande. Gary attacked the man with a taser, and Colton had a wooden handle from an axe or shovel. That subject uh, immediately began to strike the victim with that wooden uh, instrument in the growing area. Police say the de Benedettis then robbed the victim's girlfriend. First thing he grabbed was the purse. Second thing he grabbed immediately was the car keys, removed them from the ignition. The De Benedettis were pulled over a few blocks away. A younger cousin, Vincent, was the getaway driver. Uh, it was just a random act of violence. The only suspect with a criminal past is Gary. He was the getaway driver when Susan Schmidt, a security guard at Bob Turner Ford, was beaten to death with a tire iron during a robbery in 2007. De Benedetti's friends beat Schmidt after she caught them stealing rims at the dealership. Gary was sentenced to four years in prison. He got out and was placed on probation last July. He's been meeting with his probation officer three times a week while taking anger management courses. Now, he's sitting in Metro Detention Center for violating that probation and is now charged with armed robbery. De Benedetti was originally sentenced to nine years, but the judge suspended five of those. No word tonight on if he will now need to serve those five years in prison. Dick, back to you. All right, Jeff, as for the other four men involved in the Susan Schmidt murder, two are serving very long sentences. The other two are also already out.